Mrs. V and um, I'm going to do another setup and um, shout out to Donnie. She's, um, I really appreciate that she uh, sent some of you guys across to check this out. Now, I actually did have um, someone turn around and ask me to show how I actually get the bigger label. So I'm just going to zoom you in. And so she's asked how, lady has asked how I get the bigger labels. So like you get your inventory and it's quite small. Even your inventory on the side of your, ch on the side of your uh, charts are quite small. Okay, so I'm going to show how I do that. And I'll just grab my mobile phone, which is right here. So when I, what I'm doing is setting up, um, now this is a, an ever moment, this is um, Groot, you can see him there, um, at, but when, what I do is I don't use from the picture, I actually use it from uh, the colour table on the charts. I, okay, I'm going to bring you, I do need to bring you down. Bear with me while I bring you down. Is that going to focus? Okay. So as you can see, even the the colour table is quite small. So what I do is I get my camera, which does actually make it bigger. And I just need to get it where I... Hang on, I think I might need to put the flash on. We'll see how we go. Okay, so this actually does get it bigger. Um, and then I take note of where I'm going to finish it off. So there's a 15. Yeah, bear with me. I've just got to make, try and get this light right. Okay. So that's how you make it bigger but the symbols aren't coming through clear so I just make sure I've got enough light coming through there we go so you can see how the symbols are clearer as opposed to what you would get here so that's where I there we go I just got notified of a new email a new <laughs> YouTube okay so at still not getting Okay, at 14, okay, so if we look at that, I now have a bigger in comparison, so I've photographed 14, and I still photographed 14, and oops, I didn't take notice, bottom of that one was 26. I want to get into here as well and down all right try and get this in a position so you can see what I'm doing and 27 to 39 so what we can now see is looking at my photos I've actually brought that bigger it is a bigger print than on the inventory sheet and it's bigger than the um, bigger than the um, canvas so that's how I get these to be bigger and then what I do I actually hang on what I do is I select them all and I excuse me while I send that to my personal email And I send it through as an actual size. So from there, from this, it goes through and I'll receive it on my phone, but it will go to my computer and I will just print it out from there. So um, give me five seconds and we'll go to the next step. Oh, okay. Okay, so what you'll see is I have um, received the email 
And it's a simple case of just double clicking to open them up. And these just open up in normal photos. How big that is and how easy that is to read. I just hit the print. Uh, wait, I select and just print. And wait for it. Wait for the printer to kick in. I might hear it. And what I'll do is go to the other ones that I opened up. And I'll do exactly the same thing. Print. And. Good old computers, they love working slow print. So that's the three of them um, have now been sent to the printer and so next step we'll have a look at them printed out. Okay so here's my printouts. Um, if you're actually watching the screen carefully I ended up printing out three of the same uh, one so I've had to go back and print them but the, here's the three printouts so if you have a look now in comparison to the inventory that is just so much bigger these when I cut them they will be cut down there and they will fit into the label maker so with that being done I'll move that off the desk move my light pad them out the way, fill out the way, inventory out the way. Grab my ruler. Right, so what I've got is these here. I am doing slightly differently. I think the last labels I put onto the Elizabeth Ward, the bead storage ones, I do have the 60 bottle um, in the case I have two of these I love these now when you look at these you will find that they don't fit as a single so we will be treating this slightly differently to the way I have been and on the flip side of that I now need to work out how to get this off to put my new labels in there because um, I'm going to run out of labels at this stage so this is uh, um, the labels that I've got in there at the moment are the current was the one that the box with the Zyron came, came with this is the one that I brought and Donnie mentioned it which is the repositionable cartridge okay so it's not just the, the just looking at that so that's come straight out of the box and it's the whole unit goes in so here we go no instructions so let's fumble this away I'm guessing it's this okay yeah and I've just squeezed there's two little prongs here there and there okay and I've just squeezed that and it's slid out. What I'm going to do, I'll put it that way so you can see it's sliding out. And I will take this one out of the wrapper. Okay. Rightio, so that came out if I look at the old one came out like that so this one's got to fit in like that what um, you can see here if you want an understanding of how uh, this gets how the sticker works it's the same as uh, the opaque diamond paintings that we get where the picture is actually 
painted on the canvas and then there is a roll of sticky that goes over top and that sticky is actually attached to uh, is part on on the opaque so if you look closely this is where it comes out and this is where it goes in and at some point it goes in the middle and these join and push together I don't know if okay so this is the top bottom and I'd say there's a layer of glue in yep there is layer of glue on there and that's how that forms okay we pull that there just slightly but let's get this in and well that's all I had to do because now it's just a simple pull so that's how easy it is to replace Oh that can go in the bin, box in the bin, but that's 20 foot and 6.1 metres, so 6.1 metres is my language. And box is empty, and this is supposed to be removable. So, we'll find that one out shortly, shall we? What I'm going to do, first of all, is... One cut to remove a lot of the excess because then it gives me space on the desk. And I actually have the good cutting mat underneath, which I still haven't managed to kill yet, even though I have. There we go. I'm pretty heavy handed with a lot of things. Okay. So this is a simple, oh, that was close. I'm not worrying about the number, of the count number, and I'm not worrying about the sum or the required drills required for that color. So just cut it down and cut it down. at 14. So what I'm left with is just the DMC numbers, remove the top, do the same with the other two labels. Now if you end up with your um, labels too wide, so like I'm cutting out to the, the, the actual side box, but if it's too wide, all you need to do is just, I'd bring it into the box here and cut there because that's kept nice and straight. Okay, that's two. Yeah, the nail, not the finger. Get the paper off my desk. Okay, what I will do is a quick look. That's one thing I didn't check. Is I'm just checking this 154 to 550. I actually have a five two five five zeros. So I don't need the one that one there. If you don't need two labels, don't waste the paper on the uh, label maker. Okay, and then I know you can't read this, but I work my way through. Uh, nine two one nine three nine. Nine two one nine three nine. I don't need that. So. got all my numbers but I'm just removing what's not needed 
and 939. Okay, and the last one on the list is 3864. So I have every single one of those there. Right, so the next step is the one where putting it in and getting it in and making sure it is straight. And as you can see, I've narrowed that down quite a lot and that will fit there. Okay, and yet again, one of the things I tend to do and I've, is when I'm putting it through, I just about always end up with it crooked. So you can see how it's gone to the side which is one of the reasons why I won't do a full sheet of inventory because uh, you end up wasting it. And having to redo the process again. And I'll put the second one in and pull it through. And with this, I'm making sure that the number ahead of it has gone through. So that's clear, you can't see it, before I put the next one in. Uh -huh, which is what I just messed up. Okay. Didn't wait. It went in too far. I've got one label here where they've gone over top of each other. So I'm going to have to work with that. But what that means, by putting them so close together, you can see how this section here is a waste. If you didn't, if you put them, um, if you rip one off at a time, you're wasting that much of the paper. Okay, this I think I can work with, but we'll see how we go. So it is a case of rub and peel and rub. So what ends up coming out of the Xyron is the fact that the sticky is actually on. If I can peel this off. The sticky is actually on this, this sheet. And as it put, goes through the roller, the sticky coats here and it coats the back of the paper you put in. Right, so that's all there. Get rid of that in the bit. What I'm looking at is, see how I've ended up going over? Okay, I'm about to waste. <laughs> waste some sticky but what I can do is cut the top one off okay I don't have 992 what I am going to do is tweezers put it in and you're going to see where the waste comes into play so just drop that in no pressure I'm just pulling it out <laughs> so that's how you get that sorted that's the first time I've done that so there we go okay and this is where I mean if if you put if you actually put this in in and then ripped it off and then you spit another one in you're gonna lose that much and then you can lose that much again I've messed up so I'm losing that much you know but I'm only losing that much once not twice Right, so from here, um, I will speed up once I get through to the um, first couple, once I get through the first couple, but what I do here is, I'm going to have fun with this because it's repositional. If you see it's too big, lift it up, it's too big to actually go the label's too big for that, yet it's okay there. So I can, the way I do it, is I will cut it along there, but just get this first, I'll get two done, the first two done, so you can see how I do it. Still got sticky bits all over my place. Okay. And just doing the two, because I'll uh, fast forward on the others. But 
with the two. Okay. So what that now gives me gives me is one five four as the number and the symbol as well. So don't be afraid to actually cut cut these. Um, and I'm just trying to work out repositionable. I don't like the idea of repositionable, but yeah. That, that actually is coming up easier than I'm not lifting it all the way off but that actually did come off easier than the others so where did I put that bottle there it is so this is in the, the little test tube bottles okay one six four there and the symbol on top okay so that's where how you'll get how you get it on smaller pieces on smaller containers just cut it in half and you've got the symbols there without any issue so hopefully that helped with how I get the get it to be bigger to be easier to be seen um, and I've also shown you how to refill and how easy it is to refill and possibly give you a little bit of an understanding of um, how how the glue works on the paper so yeah I will now get to and set this up I'll label all my containers and I'll get back to you shortly Okay, so these are all labelled up. While I was doing this, there was a couple of things that I did pick up. Um, when you are, if you are actually splitting up, cutting them in half, make sure you put your symbols the right way, especially arrows. If you've got a diamond painting that has two, three, four arrows in it, you want to make sure those arrows are going the right way. Um, so that's just even like these sometimes you will get a symbol where it's like that as well so just make sure that we, if you do cut them and divide them like this that you do put them in the right way so they do match up so all in a way if you're looking for anything that can be turned around 3750 is that one there which is gosh really got to zoom it in for you there which is the arrow going left number 34 okay so that's where we stand with that uh, next step is I will sort out my drills into numerical order and then I will fill these containers and I'll get back to you once this is all full Okay, so all sorted in their containers and that last bit you saw me doing was uh, DMC order, all the symbols in DMC order number and then five, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then alphabetical here and what I do is I always like to move them closest to me because they always work with that away so they're closer to me and I always make sure I have one row here where I'll use that one there 
for any uh, bad drills. Uh, part of the process as well, you'll see I have put uh, dots on some of these. Okay, so if we look at why I put dots on some of these, um, let's have a look. 779, see if that's a good, no, that's not a good example. Well, that is a good example. 779 was actually came through. Uh, per, no, hang on, I'm trying to find one that's more suitable to explain so you can understand it. Uh, so if I pull out 520. Okay, so 520. I've put a dot on because I haven't... The dot is to represent the fact that I haven't put all my bags in. So 520 requires 696. Um, drills. This actually had a big bag which should be 800 drills which means I should have this plus this bag I should have some left over in here and I won't need to use this and that means that it's one less thing that I need to bag up and one less thing I'm likely, likely to spill. So that's that side of it. Now bag size you saw two of the ever moment bags which are supposed to hold 80 drills in it so they will you will uh, so 80 800 drills in it so you can see you can get two ever moment bags large bags into these so that just um gives you a good indication so that's about 1600 drills so that gives an indication on this what i have done is all my extras not that there's much um, but the ones that I expect to go above, I will are sitting in there, and I put that into this folder, Oops. into the top, and I also fold this little guy up, and he will go in there. And what I will also do is the actual Ever Moment toolkit will go into there. So that is all the drill set up. And the great thing about that is everything is in here. I love this, this uh, these bags for that. Especially when I'm not bagging, um, packaging everything. One thing that I have let to do though, though I don't think it's going to be an issue with Ever Moment, is I do want to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a drill. Um, Oh, that's something else. I did, did, did just remember. So I do want to do apply a couple of drills in, well, just in a little area. One thing I did do, I had, yet again, as my partner calls me, a klutz. Um, I dropped things and I dropped quite a few of these. Um, they did fall in my lap. I do wear an oversized shirt when I do this, which means they generally all fall into my shirt. Uh, but 320, I did drop the bag and I did spill some. So hopefully I'll, I shouldn't run short, being ever moment. But what I did do is instead of having a normal number, I've actually, gosh, sorry about the lighting. You can see that I've actually put a highlight on it. So that gives me an idea that when I work with this colour, to be very careful that I don't spill any more. So that's just... If you actually do have spillage, put a highlight on it. It's just an extra reminder that there was something funny about it. So what I'm going to do is um, I will bring the camera down and I will do a little bit of a drill just to show my best way of saying that symbols are good. Just put my glasses on. I'm not going to go anywhere near the black. I'm just trying to work out what I want to do is I always try and find something. I like to find something, um, you know, doing a corner is just standard. Um, oh, I'll do the side of his head here. So I'll give the side of his head a go. Now, you will see that symbols are here. The picture goes this way. So that's another little... Uh, issue in itself 
I don't like I don't like the symbols being opposite uh, to the other direction to what the symbols on the canvas are. Um, so that's one thing that really doesn't annoy me about this one. I think I've got another one from Ever Moment where they've done exactly the same thing. So that is just something that I personally don't like. Um, I've got we've got others where they're high and narrow and I'm still getting that the symbol the legend down the side so you know it would be nice if we could still continue to do that with all of them but you can't have everything you want so I'm going to bring the camera down and do a bit of a drill on the side of his head now see how there is a bit of a, a fold here oh sorry here we go again a bit more moving no still working on this get this camera I'll get there eventually okay so you will actually see this is this is my fault I have unraveled and re-raveled him um, a couple of times which is why that is my fault but what I'm gonna do is just actually might work on here and go from there zoom you in how clear is that coming no I actually do need to move the camera down sorry guys for this I need to move the camera down and I also need to move the light I find that I need to have an extra light on to the side okay here we go just trying to get it so you can see the symbols because I've got no issue seeing those Okay, so one of the reasons why I have in I have my storage container set up that way. So that's the D's. I know where that is, and I know that's sitting in the symbol section. It just narrows down where I'm looking. Three seven six one. And I do like the small containers. Okay, I do like the small containers because I'm only pouring out a little bit at a time when I use these. And yet again, if I'm only putting a little at a time, I'm not really spilling much. And I'm finding that by, by doing a little section when I first kit up, I get um, a good idea on how the drills are now most of us get there and go yeah every moment drills are good um, which they are in the most part but you know, there might be a time where their drills aren't good and it's better to be able to pick it up as soon as possible and I got this one just before Christmas um, if I left this too much longer, I don't know whether my buyer thingy runs out or not. Um, but if you leave it too long without doing your checks and checks, you, you can end up not being, um, how to put it, I don't know, being able to register an issue is probably the best way to put it. Do the now there is no two so there's no chance of a Z and a two being mixed up and that's another thing to look at when doing this is you know I'm making sure that if I'm going to struggle with any numbers it's it's any symbols uh, it's always good to know um, one of the diamond paintings I'm working on right now actually has the Y and the one um, very very close in color 
both of them has the the lettering in white and every now and then I can't tell whether it's a one or a Y so out comes the uh, magnifying glass right. so that's one that I'm working on at the moment which I've probably got about another eight hours of work to do and it'll be all good and done okay they are just such nice drills I will say that much So on this canvas, so so I will say on this one, my peeve is that the legend is going the opposite direction to the symbol. There is another one that really pees me off. And if you actually look at the paler colours that have white print, they're the ones that I struggle with. If the paler colours had dark print and the dark print had the white, it would make all the difference. But what we've got is, I know they're fives, I can see they're fives. That's a five, that's a five. I know that I can see that's a six, there's a slight, I can see a variation in colour between those two. But it's still a little bit awkward. Um, because when I do this, some of these I do, so I do diamond painting when I come home from night shift before I go to bed. So I'll have tired eyes and I will say it right now I came I've come off night shift now I've got to go back to I've got to go to bed in about an hour's time so I'm already working with tired eyes but I like to diamond paint as a way to wind down and I treat coming off night shift the same as I would coming off day shift I come home sit back have a coffee chill have something to eat and then I'm off to bed which is you know that's standard thing you do when you when you go to when you work when you work day days only so I try and do the same thing when I come home from night shift I'll come home I've had a had a cuppa something to eat stay up for about three or four hours and then go to bed but this is looking pretty good um, yeah I'm um, although I'm not showing you I am having a look at the drills at the quality of the drills which is yet again why you do a couple of you try and pick an area that's got a couple of different colors to it so you're not just looking at one color and uh, yeah back to using tweezers again I love using tweezers okay Just a couple more days oh, and here goes start yawning uh, oh you idiot There we go. I shouldn't be doing this. I've just realised. Right, that one's good. They're not D's that I just put on. They were U's. This is what happens when you're tired. Okay. Pick these off. Start again. And that was, that's a Z. That one's good. That was good. That's a C. I think, yeah, it's those up there with D's. Incorrectly placed. <sighs> Don't know why I did that. D and that was... Because it's not even the same colour text. <laughs> That's me. Tired is the best way to put it. Now just did I put any more of those? I might check. I don't think I did. No. Put that Z back there. Uh, 
and there's only the one new I needed which is why yeah okay put down some D's which is a darker blue that's better teach me for doing this when it's nearly bedtime. Ah well. Okay. Add up some D's. And in just want to do a couple of ends quality of the drills yet again you know that's if I empty a full the full packet out into that okay, if we get close I can't see any in there I can't see any rubbish in there and that's yeah I mean that's just and that's a full bag okay so there's just a couple of ends in there we go and that's it for putting drills in what I do want to do though is the the essential um one which is the three tens i want to empty out the three tens and i don't know what it is about ever moment they do try and keep their symbols the same um but i do know if you don't have three tens i what i have picked up or noticed is if you don't have three tens the nine three nines end up with the love hearts but every every time i've got an ever moment that has three tens that symbol has always been the love heart now what I'm doing now is so these are three tens and most people complain about three tens purely because it's such a it's 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 a color that's in a lot of things so therefore it's produced it yeah there's a lot produced and just looking through there there's no rubbishy bits. Whoop. Or did I find a rubbishy bit? Where is it? Yep, there we go. One rubbishy bit. Which I've just dropped again in the tray. Where did it go? It's funny, in the camera I can see it even better. Did you see where I dropped it? No, I can't see where I dropped it. No doubt I will come across it again. I was going to put it in my junk container. Okay, so that's it. All set up. I'm happy with it. Um, it's ready to go. It's, um, hang on, let's get this in. There we go, there was the junk. I did find one of the junk ones. It's another bit, a bit of junk. And that's actually junk there. Okay. So there we go. He's um just gonna lift that up. He's set up, good to go bag is all packed um, I'll just so that one's all ready to go and sorry guys just trying to get this back into proper size for you and there we go 
so all good to go, all set up. Um, when I ready, when I'm ready to tackle him, no chance of losing everything, anything because that's all there. And, and I need to put. I do need when you do this, you need to put. Make sure that's leveled out pretty much in there. And down he goes. He, she, I should say it's a she because the bright pink on the edging. So that one's all good to go. Um, another little hint that I have given previously is just about tissue box. When you're un, when you're kidding up and going through and you end up with a heap of these, the plastic contain plastic bags. What I find is by putting them in the tissue box, they end up not sticking to my hand because as I'm pulling my pan out, I'm pushing it against that. And if you put these straight into a normal bin, they just fill up and fluff up into the bin. So that's just a little hint. Um, my little penguin tissue box that comes out whenever I'm kidding up. He just sits there and yeah, you get quite a lot of bags in those. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at now. Thank you for watching. Please um, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, hit the bell if you want to keep up to date on um, anything that I'm doing. And um, thank you for watching. Now, please comment if you, there's anything that I did that you want further explanation in or anything I can assist. Um, Part of doing YouTube is to help other people because I learned so much off YouTube from others. Okay, thanks and bye for now.